Oh crap, I just realized that uh, I didn't vlog today. Um, I, I don't have my shirt on right now, so that's why the composition is a little strange. But anyways, I gotta get, get in the shower. Lots happening. I'm staying very busy. I actually really like being busy as long as the thing that's making me busy is really fun. But anyways, I'm top of the shower. You guys wanna come in the shower with me? Well, you're already too late. You're already, you have no choice. You clicked on this vlog and now you're in the shower with me. What's the scoop of what's been going on in the life of Alex, audio man. Just working away, trying to share some stuff about sound on YouTube and make sure that everybody gets good sound. Doing some recording, doing some mic reviews, doing some good stuff. There. Oh my, what the? Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I got this thing, this Polaroid camera, I like it. Seems like it's at least five years old, I don't get it. <laughs> I think it's from like the 90s or something. Dude, so your channel's what, at like 30 something thousand subscribers now? Uh, 33,404, yeah. but who's counting? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we ever went over like our history. I've known Alex since elementary school. Yeah, I think we were probably four years old when you first lit me on fire. Elementary school, at a point, I got us in trouble from the yard duty. Uh -huh. And I remember like a moment where like I did something and the yard duty like blew the voice so we were like walking over to the yard dude going like, oh, uh oh, we're in trouble. And you like looked over, you're like, thanks a lot. <laughs> exactly, yeah, that's, that was the start of our friendship. And that's basically been our dynamic ever since. It's just like, I get us in trouble and he looks over. And I, I just get blamed for it in whatever way and, and that's that. <laughs> Look at this guy trying to do your job over here. Are you upset by this? No, this is great. I think it's great to have people who know what they're doing actually understand sound. Huh? You know what you're doing with that, right? You know, no. You know, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Cool. Well, I see. I see that there are levels, so it can't be that bad, right? So you've got a limiter properly engaged, which is that little yellow light over there that uh, keeps illuminating. And I think you're. I think you're good. No pressure, Sam. How do you, well, levels? <laughs> uh, it's it's like amplitude or gain. I guess uh, volume. Okay. Are you familiar with what sound is? It's the thing that goes in my ears. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Oh, I think the Polaroid's then. It looks horrible. It looks Look at this. Terrible. I think it's been shoved into mud. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm doing with this is like, I'm, I'm just gathering it from my everyday life and then I doodle on them and then I'm gonna blow them up and put them all around my house. I guess we're gonna talk some audio now. So see you guys on the main channel if you guys wanna see audio. So how do you spell otherwise. levels? Watch how excited mozzarella gets when she gets off the leash. Ready, go. <laughs> She's like a racehorse. And she just immediately goes and like sniffs another dog's butt. Oh, that was a good one, Peta. All right, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Shiki's the fast one. Ready? Go. That's too far. Right here. Bring it here. Thank you. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, she is. Oh, that's too far. That's too far. Bring it closer. There we go. Who's a good dog? All right, Carrie. I need to get a little thumbnail. Okay, here we go. This, this is the is, thumbnail this right is here. The thumbnail? Yeah, so do we make have to face. make one of those silly clickbaity faces yes. like the <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand those, but they're kind of like a, a necessity sometimes. Can <laughs> so I just be the background and be like, or Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah that do that, face? yeah. <laughs> We've got like completely contradicting faces. I'm like, no. <laughs> I feel like you guys are sick of hearing me say, like, oh, I've got so much things going on right now. So I actually I printed out this list that is my two-year roadmap. So I've been trying to get better about planning ahead. YouTube has really gotten my mentality stuck on like, oh, I need to work on the next video. I need to work on the next video. And literally I haven't had a chance to, you know, pull back and just like look at the big picture. So Thanks, YouTube. yeah, Thanks a lot. <laughs> obviously I've been slowing down on uploads, but that really gave me a chance to kind of, you know, think about this a little bit. So my two-year roadmap, most of it is blurred out because a lot of this stuff, I don't really want to announce until it's further along. It's super secret. And the reason why I'm honestly kind of terrified with this list is because it's just like starting anything. You have to take risks, you have to take sacrifices. I don't know how many of these things are gonna succeed and I don't know how many of these things are gonna fail. Some of these things are just gonna be a matter of dedicating a lot of time to it and some of these things are gonna be really expensive. Can uh, you just say the E word? Exp <laughs> number one is like the potato jet, which is kind of like the umbrella for these four things. Now obviously the vlog is part of the potato jet umbrella. We're driving over to check out this one right here, which is 
number one under. <laughs> I need to relabel this. Do you have a sharpie or something? Oh my god, you're so prepared. Oh, there's oh, a pen. I got a pen. Oh. Okay, so sorry for my sloppy handwriting. Uh, the calligraphy is not on this list, but okay. Now we have number. So number five now is what we're about to go check out right now. And you can see the date on there. We get to start talking about it May twentieth, which is. Very soon, it might even just be the next vlog, but that's what we're driving over to start looking at now. If I were to say there's one that I think is like gonna be game changing, like life changing, it's gonna be number seven. But you can see that it is. Uh, What's number seven? Let me see number seven. It's the app. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. 2022 is realistically when I can really start pursuing that. And then finally, the last two are sidecar projects. I call them sidecar projects because I'm in the sidecar of it. Like it's, there's somebody else is driving and someone else is focused on it. That's their idea and they're doing it and I'm there to support it all the way through. Actually, Mateo said we could kind of like hint at it. Okay. So we'll give you an idea. Number eight, that starts with a, a B. They're actually going out tomorrow to look at a brick and mortar location for a potential coffee shop. I want to learn how to be a barista. Yeah. And I want to yeah. actually go and work a couple shifts. And I'll let you guys know when I work those shifts. Some of you guys could swing by. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? That would be great. Yeah. I tip you. Oh. I accept tips in the forms of SD cards and micro SD cards. I think everyone's going to be. Oh, look at it. Oh, look at it. Clue. his best life. <laughs> So that's your role model right there, huh? That's who you're gonna be? Half man, half horse. That's really what I'm looking for. <laughs> I feel like I'm like the golden retriever. I'm like his best friend, but he hates me because I'm so supportive. But he needs me, so he'll never lose me. <laughs> you're always shitting on Dylan, and I'm always like, no, don't listen to him. But he, that, that annoys him more than you shitting on him. <laughs> Dylan, is that true? <laughs> well, I didn't know this. Bojack Horseman is based off somebody? Who knows, but there's a theory going around that it's based on yeah. Bob Saget's oh, life. Because think about it, like, you know how they always show that show Horsing Around or whatever? Yeah. Like, that's based off Full House and that it's yeah. Bob Saget and his life. Yeah, and it's also like, you know, that show is on in the 90s, just like BoJack Horseman shows like the 90s. Bob Saget's a comedian, so like BoJack, he actually started out as a stand-up, so it's kind of like... Yeah, it's basically that guy. Do you know that we once casted uh, Bob Saget's wife? Or ex-wife now, I think. I didn't even know he was married. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was married for a little bit, and we casted her in a project, and then she shitted on Dylan's script. She was like, who wrote this? But she was joking around, because it was, like, well-written and stuff. But that's Bob Saget? It actually all makes a lot of sense now. Bob Saget, like, you know, everyone remembers him from, like, Full House. It's like, oh, a family show, but it's, like, his actual, like, comedy routine is, like, a lot raunchier. He just kind of looks, you know, like a PG version guy. I just remember that one movie where he was like, It's all covered in shit. What movie was <laughs> oh, that? Dumb, Dumb and Dumber. Dumber. Dumb and Dumber. Hey, no, yeah. dude, watch his stand up. He's like disgusting. Like, yeah. he is filthy. Are you guys excited about the future? Yeah, dude, I feel like it's cool because we're finally part of something that's bigger than ourselves. And I'm it's talking like about... that because my gum almost fell out of my <laughs> We're all starting to think on a bigger scale in terms of just like, it's not just like this channel, my vlog channel and the potatoes. Like I think we're starting to think big picture, which I'm really excited about. And what's cool is every single day, like big movement happens on each one of those projects. Yeah, so... like sometimes I come to work and he's like, this happened. I'm like, what, when would... I feel like we're at a pivotal moment right now. It's funny because when I was in Hawaii, I was like, I'm over here chilling on the beach and I'm like, it's like you like working really hard and then like cut to me and I'm just like, <laughs> Let's see some comments. Okay. All right, I gotta go get my phone, but you guys like keep them occupied. Okay. All right, Dylan, what goes up but never comes down? So. Someone who died on a drug overdose, right? Close. Dust? Um, no. I don't know. <laughs> Age? Oh, sh Here's one I remember from this one Irish writer. Over 700 pubs in the city of Dublin. How do you pass them, but you never cross them? Are they just, well, you just, huh? I don't know. You go in them. Uh, comment time. I thought the vlog was over when they started reading comments, but then I realized they were only halfway through. Yeah, I, I, usually I read them at the end, but you know, sometimes it's nice to read them early because then it's fresh. And also, it's the vlog. There's no rules here. Yeah. You could put it, we could no start rules. off with the comments. <laughs> I would love to see you put a microphone in every corner of your new house so you won't miss a single sentence. It's like CCTV, but audio only. I think that's dumb, but what we should have is a fart. 
microphone. You know what? That's actually not a bad idea. No, the fart <laughs> idea is that's a bad idea. But like actually putting a microphone all over the place. I'm just kidding. It wasn't dumb. Don't cut that out. I don't want to be seem like an asshole. No, you are an asshole. And it's too yeah. late. We already yeah, I hate offended. you. You should do a whole vlog with Carrie being Jean for a day, all out doing her Jean voice and everything. Oh look, I'm Jean. <laughs> I talk like this. What's up, voice? Do you guys want to go get some I, coffee? That is not me. You guys do a terrible impression of me. Jesus. So these are some predictions of the new channel. They're making a new channel of strictly Dylan providing inspirational speeches. 100% down for some motivation. <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna guess what the channel is. But you guys are probably thinking it's gonna be something related to like cameras or filmmaking. It's outside of our box. Tell us your story about your cameo and community. Ooh, that'd be a good uh, next vlog. Huh? And... Can Donald Glover be here? Donald Glover? Yeah, we'll call Donald Glover. And... <laughs> and he'll just that's, be like, that's his man crush. <laughs> Cool, he's done everything I wanted to do. <laughs> you know who I realized I actually really, really like? Like, you know how everyone has like their artistic favorite directors and all that? I think my favorite director might be Judd Apatow. Like, oh, he is I awesome. love Judd Apatow. Like, I think yeah. he, the way he tells his stories and stuff, it's like funny, but it's it's very real also. It's like- Yeah, uh, it's really raw. Yeah, like, I he, love Judd Apatow. He's yeah. like one of my favorites. Like, you know, it's just kind of weird. Like, you know, most filmmakers are like, oh yeah, I have my favorites, like this guy who did this really creative film that's cool. Like, and I'm like, no dude, that guy makes me laugh. I like Judd Apatow. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just because he's funny, but no, it's, the, it's... it's the storytelling. You could still have the emotional connect. Like, I feel like I could connect with his characters that he creates. And I feel also that that's like the most organic dialogue. I've ever seen in his movies. He can do that because he's a great director of uh, comedy and comedians. Like he lets the comedians play. Like a lot of those lines that are said in the movies that are like the ha ha moments, they're not scripted. I saw a lot when I was working background, like in community. A lot of those lines, like you let the, you have to let the actors riff. They're comedians. Like, they're in the moment more than anyone else. You just kind of have to let them do their thing. Anyways, that's the end of this vlog and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Later. Dun, 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 dun. This is the end. Dun, dun, dun. Bye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>